Hey, Ray. Hey, Sonia. Yeah? No, Talia. You changed your name? Nope, I'm a completely different person. It's a good impersonation, I'll give you that, but uh, I'm not falling for it. Uh, can we move on? Yeah, yeah. Hey guys, uh, we're taking a look at Noragami this week. Uh, if you haven't yet seen or heard of this anime, it's uh, causing a bit of a stir at the moment. It's based on the hit manga and it consists of 12 episodes and fans are already screaming for a second season. So, what's it all about? Noragami translates to Stray God. The story follows the individual and collective pursuits of a trio that exist across two worlds, the living and the spirit world. Yato is a minor deity who's attempting to gain recognition by granting wishes for 5 yen so that he can rise amongst the godly ranks. Hiyuri is a human and was almost killed in a traffic accident. She becomes a Hanyo, granting her the ability to exist in both worlds. And Yukine is a human who has died before being summoned to serve as Yato's shinki or weapon, without which Yato cannot properly banish the evil phantoms. Together, they battle the phantoms and attempt to seek a sense of identity. I like the characters though, they've mm. all got depth of personality. Yeah, certainly, uh, with the main trio anyway. I thought some of the supporting characters though felt a little two dimensional. Mm. Um, they kind of enter an episode and there's nothing grounding them to the, the world that's sort of been developed. And then they hang around, they don't necessarily have a clear objective, they're just there. Mm. The series felt a little rushed though. Mm. I haven't read the manga, but the story development felt missing, mm. and it wasn't from the lack of exposition. No, actually, on that front, it felt, um, you know, overdone, it was quite repetitive. Moments like Yato being reduced to cleaning a bathroom because he's so desperate for saintly recognition is really funny, but the transition in and out of dramatic tension and psychological terror and this kind of humour is jarring. A shame, because I wanted to invest more. Yeah. I did enjoy the design of the characters though. Mm. Especially Hiyuri and Yukane. Hiyuri's tail that serves as a link to her human form is a nice touch, but could have been utilised as something more interesting. Some of the phantom designs were dull though. One of them was a butterfly, another one was a blue frog with six legs. The background art was striking, but sometimes I got a little lost geographically. I thought so too, especially when they're travelling. I didn't get a sense of time either. With exception to Hayuri's home, the convenience store and the school, the environments didn't clarify the world or allow the characters to truly exist in them. Well, Full Metal Alchemist, which is also produced by Bones Incorporated, is over 10 years old now, and although that art isn't as well rendered, it still fares better on all fronts. What did you think about the voice characterization? Oh, really good. I didn't mm. think anyone sounded out of place. No, I think it's because there's such an experienced cast on board, and it shows that the deities, the phantoms, the uh, peripheral characters, all of them are extremely well delivered. I didn't think the well, the soundtrack felt a little hit and miss. Uh, some of it was really powerful and enjoyable, but sometimes that energy felt misplaced. I, I think overall it wasn't well orchestrated. Mm. The opening theme was pretty cool though. Yeah, the opening theme was very cool. What did you think about uh, the series overall? Give us your verdict. Given the hype surrounding Noragami, mm. I was expecting something really special, but mm. it just didn't stand out from the crowd. No. It reminds me too much of another series, also by Bones, called Soul Eater, which I prefer. You touched on it earlier, but Noragami is missing something. It's a berry for me. A good script, perhaps? Look, it's a little harsh, but I'm calling for a rewrite. The characters are interesting, and they're worth investigating, but the story itself is choppier than an octopus chef trying to serve himself at a teppanyaki restaurant. The, there's such an overuse of flashbacks, and unless you're a you know, senile, then why are we showing the same flashback, the same flashback, over and over again? Am I too old for this story? No, I just don't think there's any incentive for me to buy and rewatch it because there's nothing else to discover. I haven't done this before, but I'm dousing it in petrol, I'm striking the match, I'm flicking Yato 5 yen, and wishing for part of my life back. It's a burn. And you're very convincing, I, I gotta say.